All right, it's day 76. Remember that there's a negative 64 modifier for these two seedlings, meaning this is only day 12. So the cotyledons are still growing. The wingspan is 6.5 centimeters, and the first true leaves are appearing. They're growing rapidly. By the next day, they were much bigger with uh, longer petioles. And on the day after that, they're much bigger. So as you can see, they're quickly overtaking the cotyledons in surface area. That plus the cotyledons and the new leaves, the stems, you know, everything's growing very robustly um, as planned and hopefully we'll be getting some very productive vines pretty soon. Last week I was out of commission for two days because of a wildfire nearby I had to evacuate. And because of that I had my two seedlings here under continuous light for 48 hours. So this light is new. It's a weaker one. This is the one I had over these plants for the 19 days. Uh, it's 1,680 lumens directly overhead. So these plants suffered no ill effects, although I've read that if you leave bright lights like this on for two continuous weeks, everything will die. Um, I'm not sure how this that would affect different species, but it's just written in the literature that maybe oxidative stress or something from nonstop photosynthesis under very bright light conditions will kill off plants. So if you look here there's just a ton of meristem activity going on. I'm not accustomed to this with uh, regular supermarket honeydew vines. You can check out my growing honeydew melon from seeds series uh, which was my very first plant growing series in 2013 about a year ago and you can see these leaves are growing very nicely. They're 8 to 9 centimeters in length. The cotyledon wingspans are 8 to 9 centimeters as well. So these things are growing very robust in thick stems. You know, the side stems, as you will, are actually petioles that connect the leaves to the stem, the vine. You know, but there are all sorts of leaves out. But the internode length is very short. And I think that's because these plants are getting everything they need. They're getting so much sun input or light input, uh, 16 hours a day. Uh, the intensity varies all the way from maybe 10,000 lux to you know 50,000 at the top. But the point is the plants are getting plenty of photosynthesis done, so they don't really you know uh, need to signal for long inner nodes to grow. So you know more light can be reached they're getting enough so in the beginning we had this and there was a seedling here that had no leaves when it came out and now I can see something trying to bust out of the soil it could be you know a pair of cotyledons but you know I think things are hopelessly malformed I'm gonna pluck this one even if it makes it 